Hey Capricorn, welcome to your January 2019 general reading. Okay, so for this month, I'm going to be using this deck here. Okay, just in case anyone is wondering. And of course, we're going to be doing the Romance Angels. Pull a few cards from there. And then also the Archangel Oracle as well. Alright, so Capricorn, let's see how the new year is looking like. We're going to take a look at past, present, and potential future, of course. Sorry if you guys are shaking too much. I'm on the bed. But let's see. All right. It should be good. All right. So, past. These are a little different here. The 10 of coins. So, earth sign Capricorn Taurus or a Virgo. This could definitely be you or your partner, your family, just what was going on with you. So some type of abundance, you know, getting a new place, starting a new job. Okay. The Ten of Cups. So the Ten of Cups of Water Sign. Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. The Ten of Cups is also um, having to do with family, happiness, success. So it does look like it was a good December, a good November, even um, um, October. No, September. Sorry. Wait. No, yeah, it was right October. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Trying to count back. Like, hold up. Um, so it does look like the ending of 2018 was starting to look, starting to get better. Okay? And, of course, you guys have to remember that this is a general reading, so... This, this reading might not be for everyone. Make sure to always check out your rising sign, even your moon sign, okay? All right, then we have the Nine of Cups. So, once again, I love all these three. It just looks like a bunch of funness, victory, success, happiness, getting comfortable, you know, finally things are starting to look up, okay? And of course, that we do tend to think that way and it, we start to make a difference before the new year comes or, you know, you're already getting ready mentally, physically, everything to let out the, the old and start bringing in the new for the new year, okay? So, present. Alright, and of course these are a little different. And this one is the, um, the star. No, the moon. I'm sorry. Of course, here's the moon. The moon. So, this gets a little interesting, okay? The moon talks about secrets it talks about you know being sort of in the dark hidden now we can look into it a little bit more and see what it is if you have been feeling um just you know you you having to let out 
what you've been wanting to let out or you're wanting this from someone else okay and it doesn't necessarily have to be about love it could be about friendships it could be about your boss your co-worker whoever so it's either you wanting to let out some or it's someone in your life right now that you're just wanting to hear the truth okay <clears throat> All right, so another major, major arcana here. And this one is a star card. So the star card and being next to the moon is, yeah, you're hoping, you're wishing that things could be different, that things could be let out, things can come out to the surface. And of course... It's the present. It's right now. It's December. There's a change here. There's something that you want different. Okay. So again, it's either you wanting to be a front or it's this person that you want them to be up front. Another major Okay, and this one is the hanged man. Excuse me, the hanged man. And again, trying to look at it in a different way. So, let's talk about these three cards really quickly. Because this is like some mad investigation here. All right, so either you're doing something wrong and you know you've been doing something wrong, but now it's time to let it out. It's time to stop being selfish. It's time to stop being the old, stubborn, you know, the type of person that just sinks it all in, doesn't let it out, and, you know, we need to communicate. Okay, let's start this 2019 with communication and letting go of what you don't need in your life. So whether you've been dealing with this for months, even for this whole past year, Now's the time to just let it go, be open, and if it's the other person you're waiting for, then maybe you should start by letting out how you feel. And if this person continues to be the same old, same old, and not, like, maybe listening to you, but not really taking in consideration what you're going through or what, you know, you're saying, then it's time for you to let them go. Okay, because if they're not changing, if they haven't changed this year or last year or five years ago, then they're not for you. I mean, you can't keep wasting time. Okay, so let's take a look at potential future. This is the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands is... A new direction, a new path, a new journey. So look at that. You might, and you know, by being up front, you might lose this person. You might lose that connection, if that makes sense. But then again, I wouldn't say you lost that connection because if anything... You have, I feel like you need to get closer to yourself than with this other person. You know what I mean? Love yourself, connect with yourself, most important before anybody else. So whether you move on without this person, I feel like it's definitely better for you. And starting for the 2019, much, much better for you. Okay, so definitely new jobs, new Travel new, a new path, a new direction. 
Okay, the Five of Pentacles. So there's still some... <sighs> that feeling of loss, that feeling of, of hurt, pain. But you know what? It's okay. It needs, it needs to happen this way. For you to be able to move on and heal and you're going to be just fine. Okay. So, I mean, of course, it's kind of sad to see the five of pentacles being left out in the cold and okay, well, if you don't want to be friends, if you don't want to be together, if you don't want to work here or so on or, or whatever the case may be, then bye. Well... I mean, yeah, it sounds harsh, it sounds ugly, but, you know, you don't need that person in your life. Even if it's multiple people, even if it's a family. Then we have the Three of Wands. So, sorry my kids, I'm trying to listen over there and make sure they're all right. So, looks like to me, communicate, let go, let go of that pain, let go of that feeling of being stuck, let it all go, release heal, love yourself, and be proud of yourself. Everything's going to be okay. Okay? And being the, the three of wands here, you know, of course in this picture you... She looks a little sad. She looks, you know, in the background, the leaves, you know, just fallen and all that. But, you know, in the traditional tarot, um, the tarot deck, the traditional tarot deck, it's, you know, the man facing, you know, in, in front. And leaving the past in the past and looking in front of him, looking at, his potential future but of course he has to decide you know what is he going to do with his life how is he going to live his life what path is he going to take so Capricorn I love 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 your reading I love it and just in case you're curious at the bottom of the deck is the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands talks about um, arguments, um, you know, kind of just fighting over nothing and nobody's really winning at all. It doesn't matter if someone's using the sword, if someone is using a gun, it's uh, nobody's going to win. Nobody. Nobody is going to win. But I know that sounds kind of like, why? Well, that doesn't make sense. I'm not going to win. If I say this, I'm not going to win. So what's the point of me saying it? Well, really, I don't want to look at it that way. But think about it. You're not going to win if you keep fighting about it. If you keep bringing it up. They're not going to win either. Nobody's going to win. So what you need to do is communicate and give yourself some time. Separate from this person. Just, you know, really listen to your feelings. Okay? Hold on, because I feel like the camera is kind of like... Oh, sorry, 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 you guys. 
I feel like this is ready to fall over. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pull. We don't need to clarify here. I feel like we have enough clarification. Okay. So that's that for the tarot reading. Now I'm going to pull some from the Oracle. Just one card. Okay. So. Please email me if you want a private reading. I, the way I um. I don't have any specific prices. I do accept donations. Okay, there's no particular prices. As long as I can help you, that's that's my happiness right there. All right, so Capricorn 2019. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. All right, so let's take a look at mm, I'm trying to find it here. Mm. Now I know some of you are like, what? This could be the one. All right. This card signals that you've already met the person you romantically seek. Perhaps you're already in a relationship with him or her. The romance angel sent you this card because it seems you're not recognizing or enjoying the full potential of this person and relationship. Sometimes you may overlook someone who's meant for you because you have a different idea of what your partner should look or act like. Take a moment to consider who this might be. The first person to come to mind is probably the one. Next, invite the romance angels into your dreams as you're going to bed. Ask them to give you very clear information about your romantic partner, either in your present relationship or a future one. During sleep, you're more open to angelic guidance. When you awaken, you may not remember your dreams, but you will have a clearer sense of romance and partnership. Take any action you feel called, called to based on your inner guidance, even if it seems unrelated to your love life. Trust that the angels are leading you toward the one you desire. So, I like that one, okay? Wonderful. I like that message. All right, so let's pull one card from the Archangels. All right, Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael. What messages do I have for Capricorn for January 2019? Oh, look, two popped out. So, Claire... Claire... Yeah, I'm not going to try to pronounce that. Claire Ogonet. Yeah, no. <laughs> Archangel Uriel. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Claire Audience. Archangel Zarkel. Notice the loving guidance you hear inside your mind or from other people. All right, really quickly, I'm going to read from the book. I really don't want to make this too long. And look at that. They're right next to each other. Okay. Um, so this one first. Clear audience, you're hearing true divine guidance very clearly. It comes in the form of repetitions, messages, 
um, repetition, I didn't say it right, of repeating. Okay, let me start over. You're hearing true divine guidance very clearly. It comes in the form of repeating messages, urging you to improve a situation for yourself or others. Pay close attention to everything you hear in your mind and with your physical ears. Divine directions are repeating, loving, and to the point. Ask me for help if you need clarification on anything you hear. Just like your reading said, you prayed, you prayed for answers and they've come to you in the form of repetitive thoughts telling you to take steps and make healthy changes. Don't dis discount your thoughts or think they're just dreams or common knowledge. Your thoughts are tuned to higher frequencies right now and are trustworthy inspirations. All great inventions, new beginnings, and teachings steam from this same universe, universal source of wisdom. You're trapped, you're trapped in to that divine wisdom right now, and it's important to notice and record your thoughts, then act upon these answers for your prayers. So, y'all been asking, y'all been praying, y'all been wanting that truth, that help, that guidance, and you have it, what are you waiting for? Now's the time to act. All right, Capricorn, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I hope to see you guys very soon. I have all my information in the description, my email, my Instagram, all of that info. I have it in the description. I will talk to you guys very soon. Take care.